What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews? Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic as clowns. Now, y'all don't see the Oscar. Oscar is out there. He's in that paddy wagon. And he's out there retrieving those karmic energies. Because you know Oscar is the bounty hunter. Okay, for the karmic circus. And he goes around from city to city, state to state, throwing motherfuckers in that paddy wagon. And then you bring them back to here, and we throw their ass in the tent. So that's why you don't see Oscar. I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up. When you look at that little boy right there, hit that thumbs up. Okay. So, I already got your energy pulled out here, Divine Feminine. And I feel like some of you have retreated from an individual. And it's like, uh, you're spending time with your family. Okay. There's a family member, either you smoke weed or this family member smokes weed. And this person has been trying to get you to go walking with them. Or this could be you, Divine Feminine, needing to go take a walk. You may walk in place and people may can smell the weed on you. Okay. Some of you don't want to go to a, a, it could be a meditation place or somewhere you meditate, but you don't want to go because you may smell, people may smell the weed that you smoke. Somebody is saying, I got to wait, I got to take a shower before um, I go to this place. Okay. <laughs> Because you don't want the, you you smoking some good shit, okay? Divine Feminine, you probably got weed growing in your house or in your backyard somewhere where you can just go pick it yourself. It's your own personal herbs. But, um, yeah, so you've retreated from somebody. You could be listening to music. You may be going around your family. There was some somebody around you that needs to take accountability for what they did or what they're doing. So this is possibly, you know, why you uh, kind of kind of like left the building. I see you looking in the mirror at yourself, like saying, "Why me?" I see you looking in the mirror. Thinking about a lot of things. Some of you divine feminines, you got a cat. And you're in your bathroom. And you have these string lights in your bathroom. Some lights that you hung up yourself. I don't know if the light in your bathroom went out or something. But somebody has some sort of string lights in their bathroom. Maybe your lights in the bathroom work. You may be um, putting this up for extra brightness for you to, to beautify yourself. But I see you. The reason why you're you're distancing, dis, distancing, <laughs> distance, you know, putting distance in between you and someone is because... You got the truth and clarity about them. I don't know what the truth is, what the clarity. It has to be something good. Um, when you receive this truth, you're going to be dancing. Maybe this has already happened for some of you. And um, you're dancing in silence. It has to do with the masculine energy. This surfer guy is out here again. 
or he could be, this could represent, he could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You could be an earth sign, divine feminine, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But I see a lot of growth around you since you, you know, retreated, since you went in a silent mode. You're meditating, and it's it's somebody around you that wants to either go with you while you meditate and walk. Um, you could have been, you could be doing a lot of walking and meditation, and there could be somebody around you who wants to go, and you don't want this person to go. It could be a family member. They, this could be the person who may be smelling like weed. <laughs> they may want to go with you to some sort of meditative meditation retreat or something. And somebody, somebody smells like weed, okay? Somebody smokes a lot, and the weed is all in their clothes, just like a person who smokes cigarettes. The smoke is gets in your clothes. So this could be somebody that's around you that smells like weed. It's okay, baby. Okay? I stopped smoking cigarettes, and I stopped cold turkey. And I can't lie to my babies out there. I have been going getting me singles. Because I went through withdrawal symptoms. And I kept going back and forth to emergency. Thinking that my medicine is something off with it. You know, it's something wrong with me. But all the tests come back negative. I'm perfect. So what it was, the dizziness I was feeling in my head. The laziness. Not wanting to get up. Not wanting to do shit. Um... I was having withdrawal symptoms from the nicotine. So now what I do, I'm smoking right now. I I hit my I hit a cigarette and I smoke my weed. So you divine feminists, don't get don't be discouraged that I fell off. But that shit was driving me crazy. So I can imagine what a person who who smokes like crack, does heroin, um, cocaine and when they try to stop cold turkey if the little symptoms that I was experiencing from nicotine I can imagine what the people who's on real hard drugs what they go through when they try to stop so kudos to all of you out there who beat that devil and you got off of a, a hard substance but anyway divine feminine I see you looking in the mirror. But what is Divine Feminine looking at? You have your hand up to your mouth like you're trying to figure something out or somebody could be trying to do some sort of mirror magic on you. Somebody could want to be like you. You could have a family member that wants to be just like you. Yes. That's for some of you divine feminines. You have a family member that wants to be like you. This is this is the divine, this is the the, the energy that wants to walk with you. <laughs> and and if you're if you're you know into cleansing your energy, <coughs> if you're into meditating, cleansing your space and energy. You have a family member that surrounds you or somebody that you look at as family. They admire you. They, they, that's, that's them probably standing in this mirror like, hmm, what would divine feminine do in this? You know, what would divine feminine do in my situation? You got somebody out there that looks up to you. Okay, it's a feminine family member. They probably smell like weed. They probably smoke a lot of weed. But weed is, is a spiritual thing too. Okay, it opens up your intuition, your crown shop. This is why people that smoke weed, <coughs> they say way out things. They say things over your head. Sometimes they say things over their own head. They don't even remember. We don't remember. 
yeah, I'm a weed head. Okay. See how this is, like I said, they say things that a lot of people don't understand. It's a spiritual thing too. Okay. Some maypole, something could have happened and made for somebody. I see a energy of a Leo out here. Somebody, your your masculine or whoever the person you're thinking about could be a Leo. I like these cards. You guys like these cards? I'm gonna be working with them. So Auntie gonna be giving some different, you know, energy out to you all for a positive, you know, setback, positive setup, positive energies. And however you say that. Okay. So show me some more energy surrounding my divine nieces. You have protection around you, Divine Feminine. Resurrection is here. So it's in reverse. And there's somebody out there who hasn't awakened. They still sleep. A great diviner. This is someone that could be a divine energy, a masculine energy. This person, they know how to manifest, but they're not doing it. And maybe you've been speaking this to this person. Okay. You're trying to wake them up, but they haven't awakened. You're trying to wake somebody up to how to spiritually protect himself. You keep speaking this to them. Some of you are listening to songs or singing about spiritual protecting yourself. You're singing about things in nature and whoever this energy is around you, they may not, they don't understand it. Okay? Or... They could be saying something that you don't understand. But I feel like if this is a person, you know, it's, it's the energy of somebody speaking spiritually. And, and there's somebody speaking spiritually under the influence of marijuana. Wow. And it's different, it's different people around you, Divine Feminine, now. This could be different energies you're carrying. Or it can be people around you. But I strongly see. Now, Divine Feminine, this could be. You could have a lot of females. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You have a lot of female relatives around you that looks up to you. They admire you. They want to be like you. They ask themselves, what would they do? What would you, if, if they was you, what would you do? And this is somebody who you, ooh, thank you, Spirit. These, these girls are in your family. Now, if they're not your family, your literal family, these could be your homegirls, your friends. And you're spitting knowledge to them. Spiritual knowledge. And they be wanting to go with you too. <laughs> I'm seeing now. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. They see you. Going on your little spiritual walks and shit. You talk about taking spiritual baths and cleansing yourself and all of that. And you have a bunch of females around you that looks up to you. They may smoke weed and you don't. Maybe you smoke weed and they don't. Whoever smokes, you can smell it. Okay? <laughs> 
Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, so these are these are or these are feminines in your your family or your homegirls or something. And they don't tell you, but they they sit around and they say, well, what 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 would divine feminine say? How would divine feminine handle this? And you possibly been talking to them, telling them about femininity, divine femininity, and they admire you. You be smoking, and if you smoke divine feminine, yeah, you smoke. Y'all be smoking and dancing. Okay. I'm getting chills. You're giving them truth and clarity. One of your friends may be a Taurus. One of your friends may be a Leo. One of your friends has curly blonde hair. Like a curly afro. This is an African American feminine. And for some of you feminines, you're you're either a Hispanic. I see Hispanic. She could be Indian. You're beautiful. I'm telling you all that. You're beautiful. Um You're teaching them about yamen and, you know, different words. Walking meditation. You're teaching them about solitude and getting away from, from negative energies and how to, <clears throat> how to, you know, sometimes you have to go into solitude and be away from everybody to charge your energy up. You're teaching these people this, these feminines energy. You're teaching, basically, it's like you're teaching them how to be a divine feminine and you don't even know it. Wow, that is so fucking cute. They just watch you. <laughs> they just watch you, divine feminine. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. Wow. They like your style. They like how you handle things. You it's like you're not you're teaching them and you don't know it. These is just probably some of your homegirls, your friends that you grew up with, you know, your close friends. This could be family, the females in your family. You, you, you know, you, you talk about spiritual baths and, and you tell them about goddesses and, you know, taking goddess baths, putting flowers in your bath water and pouring some milk in there and burning candles and, and just beautiful things to treat yourself and make yourself feel like a goddess. This is what I see. You're teaching them, baby. And you're teaching them how strong they can be, how strong they are. You're teaching them how to use their power. Whoa. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You're teaching them how to balance out a relationship between them and their person to make it equal give and take. You're teaching them this divine feminine. Lord Jesus, have mercy. Mm. And in, in the first C, overall, it's, it's some females in your family. You see that say family? You're teaching. You're teaching your family. The females in your family, they look up to you. They stand in their mirror. What would the fine feminine do? If this was my cousin so-and-so, what would she do? Yeah. She would tell me 
when my person and me is not getting along to go somewhere off and retreat. Girl, put your earphones on and tune that man out. Tune out all of the hurt that he's doing. Listen to some meditation. Listen to some affirmations. Listen to some healing music. This is what Divine Feminine, you're, you're teaching, but you're, you don't realize that these girls are really listening to you and looking up to you. You're telling them, you tell them to let go. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You tell them to let go of all the, the, the negative shit. Some of your girls, oh, it's, it's, it's emotional, it's emotional. One of your friends comes to you crying and you're telling her, you're teaching her how to let go of that pain. You see, I feel this friend's pain. She this and and you be like, come on, girl, you turn music on. Here, hit this weed. You know, you cheer her up. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, divine feminine. Oh, you are you are helping these these feminines in your family. They could be young, young, young women, young girls. You cry with them. They come to you and they tell you some things they done been through. And you help them heal. Who? My feminine. I'm feeling I'm feeling pain and hurt from these girls. And now if this is family, they they just been watching you, and 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 it's like things that they come to you crying about. You would tell them something silly, you know, like smoke a blunt, and you would turn some music on for them, and you talk and you speak to them. You just. You it's just you. You're very spiritual and you help these girls. Ooh, child, let me get some tissue. Wait a minute. You've cried for some of these girls, Divine Feminine. Ooh. And I feel they pain. They come to you. Now I'm going to find out what do they come to you about. Yes, yeah, you're, you're, you're an inspiration to these girls, these women, whoever they are in your family, your home girls. Um, it could be your, your, your little sister and her friends, your little cousin and her friends. Ooh, I just lost my nose ring. It dropped on the floor. I have to find it later. But yeah. Ooh, ooh. I feel they pains. So. Mommy Wata. Memory. Okay, so some of these girls or people, you know, that these ones that if you know who I'm, if this is resonating and you have some younger feminine energies that looks up to you, that has came and cried to you and you've helped them spiritually, they're, these, these girls are healing, okay? They're healing. 
and you help them. <laughs> and they they're they're constantly remembering how you help them heal. You guys you you dance together, you smoke weed, you know, and you be like, remember when so and so and so? And you laugh about it. <laughs> yeah, you laugh about it. You and these these feminines. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you guys like these cards? I love these cards. And I've had them for about a year now. And I was more busy trying to com communicate with what the words on the cards meant instead of looking at the images. Spirit said you're an oracle reader. Read them as oracle. Images. So, yeah, these, these girls... You and them, you party together. And you celebrate together. Now, all of you may be smoking like, smelling like weed. Yeah, when you, you go somewhere, it's all of y'all. Okay? You teach these feminines, you know, how to balance the relationship with their person. Some of them, some of them, um, Whoever the, the one that has the blonde hair, the one who you told she may not have blonde hair, but you told her to put them earphones on and, and tune out all of the shit. You told her to dance. She has a man next to her. He could be a water sign, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, she's tuning him out. And he's, 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 it's like, he, he don't, he's trying to tolerate her tuning him out. He's not used to that. He's not used to, you know, whatever it was that you taught her how to, you know, don't let his energy get to her. Whatever it is that you taught her, Divine Feminine, it's, it's, it's this man, it's, 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 it's like, he can't tolerate that. He can't handle it. He can't handle her tune, tuning him out. He can't handle seeing her dance and smoke. You know. Tell me about this man. Tell me about this masculine energy. He sits. He sits off like. <laughs> now if this is resonating for y'all. Put it in the comments. This your friend, whoever the one that you told to put the earphones on and, and ignore him, he's he's looking at her with a side eye now. <laughs> he looking at her side eye. <laughs> he's straight looking at her side eye because he's not used to that. You done taught her some way to heal herself. <laughs> you done inspired her. You done gave her power. And she's having new new beginnings and manifesting shit and tuning him out. And he's side looking at her with his eye, side eye. Because she's manifesting, yep. And she's stable. See, he could have had her. This could be a friend that came to you crying. You know, you told her to smoke some weed. Tune him out. Mm-hmm. Now she basking in weed. <laughs> Oh shit, divine feminine. Mm hmm So, what else, Holy Spirit? Tell me about the person that's smelling smelling like weed. Tell me about the energy that's smelling like weed. Damn, look. <laughs> Whoever it is that smokes out a bomb. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so the, the, the person in your bunch, or if it's you, Divine Feminine, um, maybe all of you and your friends, you 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 all smoke smell like weed because you all hitting that bomb. <laughs> 
<laughs> if this is your energy, please put it in the comments because this is a new deck and I just want to see how it's resonating with y'all. Okay. Hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be using this deck a lot more now. A lot more. And there's the energy of um, a masculine that's that's he's supposed to be you know a divine he's supposed to be bringing in the bacon he's supposed to be like doing his thing as a masculine that's not you have a friend you told her about spiritual baths you told her about taking spiritual baths and how to regain her power and how to protect herself taking spiritual baths yeah this could be a feminine that came to you crying. You told a friend, you know, um, and you may you you may not even realize that you're teaching these people, but you're just you just tell them what you do in your in your situation, with what you went through. You tell them what you started doing, and this is how, you know, they're learning from your experiences. Music heals. Will weed heals. You told them how to call their power back and how to protect themselves. So this is why a lot of them are looking in the mirror. Some of them having happy relationships now. Some of them, if they was in a secret relationship, you taught them how to heal and get their person back to where their, their relationship is no longer hidden. It's out in the open. You taught them. You taught somebody. Okay. You taught one of your friends who had a a partner that was like a snake wrapped around their neck. You taught them how to uncoil that snake. You taught them the snake is, is still around their neck, meaning that snake is still is still up close, right? But you taught them how to tame that snake. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Divine Feminine. Ooh, these cards show some powerful energies. Thank you, Spirit. Again, if you like these cards, put it in the comments. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I see a king here. Someone who's stable, secure. He holds a crystal. Now, one of your friends that's looking in the mirror. Now you have to, you guys have to take the energy as it resonates, okay? Because I see different things. If you see how colorful these cards are, I see a bunch of different energies. So it's not all your energy, okay? It's over 100,000 to a million people who come across my videos. <clears throat> but you have a friend out there. She's, she's trying to deal with a, a masculine energy. Now, this masculine, he's a king, right? He's stable. And this friend is, is you know, she could be a little um, scared of this masculine. He may be not the type to 
be abusive like that, but she's afraid of his strength. And she's it, she's like whatever it is that, that he does. She's in her bathroom thinking about the things that you told her. If, or or things that you that you said, how you conquered, um, how you got one of your friends to un, a, a snake that was wrapping around their neck, how you showed one of the other friends how to use their power and how to protect themselves, how you told the other friend how to take spiritual baths. See, these are our friends that maybe you all just smoke and talk together. Maybe you talk to them one on one and and. But these are people that's close to you or family. But this one that's in the bathroom, she's, she's you know, she's dealing with a, a king energy. Somebody who's very stable. And she's trying to figure out something. We're going to find out. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my big mouth. Grandbabies is here. So all of that big mouths you hear in the background, that's them. So excuse me for that. The age. My, my niece is here too. If you didn't know, I'm a foster parent now. I'm doing fostering. But I have my niece here. She's 17. And then I have my two of my grandbabies here. I spent the night. So... Those are the big mouths you hear. Okay, so this is sorcery, right? Revolution. A revolution is like uh, a winning a war or something, you know? And this could be... What she's thinking about. In the mirror. Now, what was it? The divine feminine. How did she tell me to deal with this sorcery stuff? What did, what did she tell me to use? What is she? What is she? She's asking herself something. What is she in the mirror? Oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. Oh, okay. Divine feminine. You told this friend. How to manifest something using the mirror. Or you told this feminine. To, to look at herself every day. And tell herself she's beautiful. You told this feminine. If she was a plain Jane. To start showing self-love to herself. This is a feminine, a friend of yours or a, a relative, sister, niece, cousin, somebody out of these girls that's around you. One of them don't, don't wear makeup or she's afraid to wear makeup because her masculine um, ain't all into makeup and all of that. You told this girl, this is not you wearing the makeup for him or for any other man. You're making it to make your felt, yourself feel and look beautiful. That you're doing it for yourself. And this is where she's standing in the mirror. And she's, she's speaking beautiful things to herself. Wow. Divine Feminine, you out there, you are the greatest of all time. The GOAT. You're teaching these women how to love themselves. And you're, the way that you do it is so unpredictable. Mm -hmm. You don't realize how you're helping these women. Now, if this is not, the overall energy shows is, it's your family. But some of you, you, this may not be your actual family. 
This could be like your homegirls, your friends, all your female friends. These could be girls at your job, you know. Um, this could be, you know, just some females around you. Your homegirls that you smoke with. Somebody or your relatives or something. But whoever you are, you teach them about manifestation, surviving, when they come out of a broken heart relationship, you teach them all of this. And they want to be just like you. Because they see how you are. What does these girls see when they look at Divine Feminine? Even though this card says karma, you teach them. <laughs> you taught them about karma. This is an angel floating down. And look how they're reaching up at her. <laughs> this is your family, baby. They look up to you. Now, I'm not talking about your karmic family. Your family members that did you dirty. This ain't going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with somebody. Healing. You help them heal, Divine Feminine. You teach them about karma. You've showed them when they come crying to you about things that's going on in their life and that's how you teach them about karma you tell them oh that was just karma because remember when you did so and so remember when you did this remember how you talked about so and so you said this negative about so and so remember how you busted out old boys windows and shit like that remember you taught them about karma you're making these women better. You're healing them. You're healing their hearts. You're teaching them how to isolate themselves. You're teaching them how to speak out. You're showing them their power. You're showing them how to create and manifest the things that they want in life. And they want to be just like you, baby. Ooh, ooh, Divine Feminine, I'm so happy for you. Hit that thumbs up if this is resonating with you, baby. If you know you're out there spitting knowledge to these young people, you know, these could be just young people that's in your neighborhood. They look up to you. They see you, okay? They like how you flow. They love that shit. They see how you walk through darkness. You're teaching them how to step over. All of you see them skulls down there? That's death. Those could represent bad relationships that came to an end. You're teaching them how to walk over that shit. With your sword in your hand, tiptoeing. You're teaching them how to tiptoe out of a relationship that they know ain't going nowhere. You're teaching them. Act. And look, look what look what's in the hand. Go somewhere and, and, and smoke a joint and, and, and sit down and calm down. This you divine feminine. This is the, the spirit that you carry. You like weed. Okay. Now that's not for everybody, but for you divine feminines that you do smoke, put it in the comments, okay? For your friends that, you know, that's in situations that they haven't act, they haven't spoke out. When it comes to things, you're teaching them how to speak out. And you're teaching them how to restore all the energy, all the emotions. 
that they put into other people. You're teaching them. See how this man, this female, this is a man with blonde hair. See how he's pouring out that water? You're, you're teaching them how to suck them tears back up. You're teaching them how not to cry when a person hurts them, but instead to do something positive. You're teaching them this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tell me more of the divine feminine. See, you're the key to the solution for these feminines that surround you. Baby, you're teaching them. You're teaching them about sexuality. Mm -hmm. You're teaching them, for some of you, they, they some of your, your, your nieces or cousins or friends or sisters or whoever it is, energy, they were quick to lay down with somebody and you're teaching them how to close their legs. That's right. Teaching them that their pussy is divine. You're teaching them to become divine. If, if, if this was divine feminine, would she be opening her legs to this masculine, to this man? No, she ain't. I'm closing my legs. No, divine feminine don't do that. She lives this way. This is how they're, they're actually, you know, living their life now, divine feminine, looking at you like that. initiation some of these some of them were you know um tangled up in a lot of shit and you're and 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 you know being in relationships where men will leave them hanging you're teaching them how to heal how to not you know sit around waiting for somebody smoke a blunt smoke a joint that's what you're saying okay <laughs> Even for you, you divine feminists who don't smoke, you probably you probably telling some of, some of them that you know they family could smoke or they could be around a, pe a lot of people that smoke. Telling them to smoke a joint, or you telling them to go to the to the to the weed store and go get them some if it's legal. But that's your spirit. You feel the 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 marijuana heals you, divine feminine. It heals me too. So, if this reading, if you like this reading, Divine Feminine, if it resonated with you, do like my buddy over there saying, hit that thumbs up button. If you know that you have some feminine energies around you, <clears throat> that you've been speaking to, like I said, some of you, you don't even realize Divine Feminine, that you're teaching. You don't realize this. <laughs> That's what's so cute about this reading. You don't realize that just by you being who you are and speaking, you know, outwardly on, on how you handle different situations and how you become who you are. You're helping people. You're healing people. You're helping people to heal. You're teaching them about, you know, um, spirituality, how to get over a broken heart, how to deal with the, the, the men in their life, the karmic men. Stop crying. Tune that shit out. Take a spiritual bath. Smoke a blunt. Listen to some music. Okay? You're teaching them. Take your power back. Protect yourself. You're stronger than them, Divine Feminine. You got that Mami Wata energy. And I don't know nothing about Mami Wata, but I said it. Some of you know who Mami Wata is. Explain it to me, okay? You're getting out in nature. This is what they, they like about you. This is why they... they you know, be wanting to go on their little walks with you. Okay? You're free. Mm -hmm. 
You teach them and you tell them about energies. When it comes to third parties, if they got somebody else in interfering in their relationship, you, you help them heal from this. You teach them about, you know, females that's, that's out there saying negative shit about them. You teach them how, how not to react. You're teaching about, you, you're showing them, um, you, you most likely you talk to them about a pink rose quartz, which is this, this stone right here. You tell them about this. Okay. Because that's the stone of love, the crystal of love. You see, she's holding a rose quartz, a pink rose quartz. You teach them, you teach them what a, 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 a balanced equal relationship is. Mm hmm You teach them about, you know, how, how to heal themselves listening to affirmations. You teach them about eating healthy. Okay. You teach them about endings and, and, and how to deal with endings. Mm hmm you teach them how to pull the knives out of their back, the, the swords out of their chest where somebody hurt. You teach them when it comes to, you know, the sexual energy between them and their person. You teach them not to allow the man to get his pleasure and them not theirs. You teach them this stuff. Mm -hmm. You open them doors to love for them. You open the gateway for them. And when you teach them how to deal with people who broke their heart with lies, you know, <clears throat> where they don't, they, they don't tell the truth. You taught them how to get over that. You taught them about, you know, how the devil will seduce you. You taught them how to protect themselves. And y'all steady drinking and smoking. You teach them this when y'all have a little wine or whatever. You teach them about warlocks, how men, you know, are, are warlocks, how they cast spells on you and shit. You teach them and they look up to you and see you, you may just be saying this stuff to them, um, not out of ego or anything. That's just how you are. It's, it's just the experiences that you had that you learned from. Mm-hmm. You tell them to be mysterious and not to show their, their, you know, you tell them things like, you know, you have a friend that's, that's always showing her body. You telling her, no, keep a little mystery to yourself. Don't let them see what all you got. Be mysterious. You know, you play like that little school girl and you have them dressing different now. Okay. See, Divine Feminine, you is the void in their life. You see, that's a dark energy, but look at those rainbow colors behind her. You're bringing all the darkness. You're showing them with love. You show them, you know, even with marijuana, you can put, you can make your own, you know, little healing things. Now, one time, you know, I may start selling it online but I don't think I, I don't know because it may not be legal I don't know but you know around here I made for me and my family a bottle or you could do this yourself get you some weed you got some good weed and you have um, some alcohol some rubbing alcohol and what you do you pour if you got a little a little uh spray bottle, a little tiny one, okay, and you pour some alcohol in it, and then you drop some buds of some weed in it, some good weed, you drop it in there, and let it be a little bottle that's about like this big, okay, and you, you put the alcohol in a little spray bottle, you drop some weed in there, and let the weed sit in there, I'll say for uh, two days, okay, 
and then you take that weed out and you use that alcohol and wherever you have pains on your body if your knee is aching your shoulder is aching or wherever is aching you spray that alcohol infused with that marijuana on it because marijuana is healing okay and make your own little pain spray okay just don't spray it on your head your eyes and places like your, your vaginal area and your penis area not around there you spray it for aches and pains okay if your back is aching spray it where where the pain is okay so divine feminine i'm gonna end this read and if i helped you and if you like this read and it resonated with you go on here and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified the next time the karmic circus is in your town peace out i love you